Hey, what's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's tutorial, I want to show you how to do this really cool and really trendy slash popular beauty guru intro. I'm going to show you how to do it with a green screen video that I will have also linked down in the description if I can find it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is, of course, uh, have your picture ready to go. This is the picture here. I'm going to show you what it looks like without the mask. So that is the video. Um, it's a motion, a motion portrait video that's been saved with the app and I'll show you guys how to do that as well All right guys, so now I am on my iPhone So what I want to go ahead and do is just open up the motion portrait app and you can see that we have a preview here I'm gonna go ahead and start over um, Click no. So when you open up the app, this is what it's gonna look like So go ahead and tap on the logo go to the library and go to all photos go ahead and select the photo You want to use I'm gonna do this one and then go ahead and position So you want to go ahead and kind of select her her eyes and her face so I'm gonna go ahead and select her mouth and then I'm gonna select her eyes and I'm gonna go ahead and move it here and then I'm also gonna do this one I'm gonna do it around there and once you are good to go go ahead and click on OK and then here you can change the facial expression so once you guys are ready to record all you got to do is click this little uh, little uh, camera icon and then tap record so this will go ahead and record the screen when you're done, go ahead and uh, tap it again, and it will give you a countdown. So now you have it recorded. It shows your preview. So all you got to do is tap on this, click Save Video. Once you're good to go, um, I already have it saved onto my computer, so I'm going to jump back onto the main uh, page. So once you have the photo saved and imported into Final Cut Pro 10, which I already did, and it is this one, I think it's... No, it's this one right here. So if I go ahead and push play, you're going to see that it is animated, of course, and it should save it as a .mov or .mp4. You're also going to want to uh, import one of those Beauty Guru intro. You also want to get or extract the audio from that. And we already did that. Um, I already imported it into the timeline here, and I'll show you guys that right now. And that will go ahead and help us gauge where we have to place all of the elements, okay? We also want to go ahead and import the um, green screen effects here and this one as well. First thing we want to go ahead and do is uh, select the green screen. So I'm going to drag this right on top. So I want to go ahead and select a beginning part. So where the green screen is, go ahead and select one. Uh, I think the one I want to do is this one here. So before it starts, we're going to have a green screen. Go ahead and cut that and delete it. So this is going to be our starting point and then it's going to end like that. Cut it again and we're going to place that in the beginning. Sweet. And then choose another one. So go ahead and type in here in the effects and drag that on top of the green screen. So now you will have something like this. You also want to go ahead and add a pastel uh, kind of background. So go to the titles and generators, go to generators and go to the bottom and add pastel and drag that into the timeline. And you want to change the color on this. Uh, to any of one, any of the ones from here. You can do peach, you can do pink, you can do purple, uh, sky blue, whatever you guys want. I'm going to do pink for this example. And you can also color, kind of color grade this to make it look a little bit more pinkish. And that's what I did. I just went into the color board panel there. And then we can go ahead and choose another one. We can go ahead and do this one. So I'm going to go ahead and make another cut and select just this bit here and delete the rest and drag that right over. And then we want to go ahead and copy the effects from this one onto this one. So press Command C, click on the new one, and then hold down Shift Command V to paste the uh, effects onto the new one here. And it might look a little bit different or a little bit weird. So we're going to increase the pastel and drag that over. And instead, we want this to do the opposite. So we're going to go into the timer here and we're going to go to reverse clip. So it does the opposite like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. So right there, it's gonna go like that, whoops. And I'm gonna delete the rest here. So like that. And I'm gonna drag, drag this all the way over here. So we have this. And then we wanna go ahead and add her in. So we kind of have an idea of where, where to add everything else. So we're gonna go ahead and add a, a draw mask. So go to the effects and go ahead and type in draw mask and drag that on top of that clip and go ahead and just start making a selection around her. I would maybe change this to like 100% or maybe less than that, 75%. And go ahead and start kind of selecting her. 
All right, guys, so once you make a selection, go ahead and adjust these values by clicking on one of these control points and kind of dragging them around to fit this. Uh, sweet, so once you guys have that going on there, we can go ahead and drag this over there. And we're gonna go ahead and make this smaller. So click on the transform tool and just make her smaller. Um, I don't want it to, well, I guess that's fine. We can go ahead and make her smaller, like a lot smaller. And I think there looks pretty good to me. Click done. So now if I push play. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and um, add the text. We're also gonna add this one here. So we're gonna add another key here and drag that on top of this one. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and make this smaller and I'm gonna rotate this and I'm also gonna add some text here. So go to the titles and generators and go to uh, titles and go to custom and drag this on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and change the text to a certain font that I did. So I'm gonna type in Chantel, okay? And then I'm gonna change the font to a really interesting and cool looking font. <laughs> it's called um, Extreme. And I think this is the light one, or regular. I'll make this bigger. All right guys, so um, once you are there, I'm also gonna select another one. Um, so in the same green screen video there, I'm gonna do another selection. I'm gonna do that one and I'm gonna cut everything else and delete it and just drag this back. And I'm gonna zoom into the timeline here and I'm gonna drag this over here and increase this. And I'm gonna speed this up and I'm gonna reverse the clip. So reverse clip and drag the key on top of this clip here. So now we have something like this. And we're gonna speed this up as well. So we're gonna kind of shrink this down and then let's see what that looks like so far I'm gonna get rid of this here and in this one here it's kind of a little bit weird so I'm gonna go ahead and change the blend mode on this one so I'm gonna go into blend mode and I'm gonna do maybe like screen and then I'm going to reposition this. So go to the transform tool there. I'm gonna drag this down, maybe make it smaller, rotate this around here like that and click done. Yeah, so, something like that will look pretty cool. Maybe we can reverse this. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna reverse. There you go, we're gonna do that. Sweet, so now we have something like this, okay? So now if I push play. You have that, sweet. So that looks pretty cool. Um, this might be a little bit weird, this little uh, break here. So we're gonna fix that. So we're gonna get rid of this one frame and increase this one. So we'll go back, there we go. So now if we go back and we push play, We have that, sweet. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome, guys. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.